Child Protection Agency who've seen a surge in kids sending sexually explicit images. And, you know, it shocks me every time we, we talk about this. It comes up all the time, doesn't it, about mm. this whole sexting thing. And they, they don't seem to have any concept of privacy anymore. And I was thinking, sometimes they're mentioning kids as young as 11, 12 years old. And I go, we were that age, we were just about talking about snogging somebody. Mm. It was about as dangerous as it got. And now they're sending explicit pictures to each other. And I just don't understand why this message isn't getting through mm. to them. Well, I think the thing now as well is it's a whole different world, isn't it, for kids? Mm -hmm. They can reach out to anyone at the, at the press of a button. Mm. Um, and for me, you know, obviously it's a worry. I've got, she's 14 this week and... Um, I mean, in some respects, kids are so well informed, but I still think it's it's you should always keep the communication mm. open and talk about it, obviously. And if anything, you know, if by any chance you do something and it gets out of hand, mm. come and tell me, because I think a lot of them panic as well. But I mean, I had ten of them sleeping over. Oh <laughs> they camped in the garden, <laughs> um, and it was. Um, well, they came around for the day and there was ten of them and there was boys and girls, you know, and they were all, like, 14, 15. And uh, I was policing the tent. Oh, you were. Without them knowing. <laughs> except Kira Stalking. went... Are you outside the tent? <laughs> <laughs> now, I, 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 I'm, I'm just picking something up. She went, what, at midnight? <laughs> but I was intrigued to hear, A, what they talk about. Um, obviously, the language thing was, like, shocking, but I didn't want them to. I was there, so I couldn't say anything. Um, but, you know... Um, but in another way, I loved the fact that they were so... They're so at ease with each other, mm. and they are talking, but they are much more sexually aware, I think, at a young age than we ever were. The thing is, sometimes I think they're, they're very sexually aware because of the things that they can see yeah, on the internet. But also so the thing... Still, no, what they're the exposed to, they're exposed still... to, but also the way we talk to them. Now, my mum would never have had the conversations yes, that yes. I have with my kids. Well, my mother would needs, never have had it. It, it was don't do it. That was That's it. the problem. I think because they are open to the internet <clears> and, and the world outside, I mean, if you think, if you were at home, and your curtains were open and it was night time, you'd be thinking, oh, I better close the curtains because someone can see. But what the children, because they are still <laughs> children and they're innocent and naive to the fact that a, a photo that they're posting, not only is, are their friends looking at it, but possibly yeah. a man that's pretending they're a friend. Mm -hmm. And so they don't see it like it's close the curtains. And it's completely open to the rest of the world. I went to a talk at uh, my son's school with a family protection, children protection agency and, and the police, and they were filling us in, us parents, on all the dangers. And just a computer open in a kid's bedroom, the fact that it has a little camera on it, someone can get into your, ca into your computer and look at your child in their bedroom. <gasps> I think it just needs more education, yeah. more open talk. Kids talk to one another, but they're kids. Well, the they campaign need the professionals is actually... And they, won't they won't listen to mum. No. Yeah, the, they need the, the professionals. The campaign is actually... You know, often these campaigns are aimed at the, the kids and the teenagers. Uh, this one is aimed at parents, saying that we need to be given the tools to deal with this, to know how to yeah. talk to our kids. It's done almost... I saw a clip of this this morning. It's done... It's quite a cartoon-like... <laughs> Which I wasn't sure about. I, I think if that was aimed at children, perhaps, but it's. But it doesn't. But for me, it doesn't address the problem that you know when these ch when these teenagers are doing this. At some stage, it's on there for life, mm. and at some stage, this might come back and haunt them. So if you've got you know nude images of yourself or you know compromising positions, you know at some stage this could come back and haunt you, and you could lose <coughs> a job over it. You could be in really serious trouble, the and I think that's were, really important to, to they know. They were saying that. It's this wide divide. It's like a breakdown of communication because the kids don't see it as anything that bad. Yeah. yeah so what? Sent yeah. a you know, yeah, topless picture to my boyfriend. That's why trying to and the parents, parents doesn't work. So yeah. the parents are going. You don't know. It's it was different in your exactly. day. Yeah. The parents are going. Oh my goodness! You know, don't do this. And so because we see it so seriously and they don't, they then don't come to that's you what I when think. something goes wrong. And I think that's where you have to keep the lines of communication open is uh, to talk absolutely. to know that if yeah. you know, and if they have done it, yes. to be able to come to you and go, look, I've done this. But well, I seriously... Yeah. Rather than get so Or someone at school, one yeah. of the social workers at school. Yeah. I mean, there's so many people nowadays to turn to because yeah. of the but awareness. I don't, I don't think there are enough tools out there for parents, mm. teachers, whoever, dealing with this to, to know how to approach it. I mean, I wouldn't have a clue. I don't want to scare my children from technology, mm. but at the same time, I want to be able to give them the, the right way to use it sensibly how old are your with children now? They're seven and four, mm. and to be honest, at seven, I think I should now be teaching my little boy, mm. Zach, about what's out there, because it's 
computer games, all that mm. kind of thing. And I feel as young as seven, I have to start, you know, really and having those conversations. And you have haven't you? Or, your, or Alistair, Yes, Alistair, nine, yeah. I mean, he's only just kind of doing messages. But, they, you know, he's filming himself and sending things and I'm already gearing him up to be careful what you're posting because you think you're just posting it to your cousin. But, you're, mm. you know, your cousin's only young and then they might show someone and you never know someone... You might lose your iPad and someone could pick that up and get into that mm. information. They're, they're, they're innocent children. They, they need, mm. really, the government to come and have a school programme where parents are brought into the school, children, and it's an open discussion mm. to really mm. give them that education. Well, so, you know, the, the message seems to be here that we, you know, we have to accept it's out there, they've yeah. got the internet, they are doing it, and we have to find a way of talking to them. Did you see this one today? I love this. But yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, it's one of them. Ooh! Which I find patronising to start off with. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's empowering, I think it's inspiring. It's just part of every day. We've got loads there. That's a good show. That's a good show. The discussion starts here. Loose Women, weekdays at 12.30.